And ladies and gentlemen, we've all been there. We all wanted to create a horror game that resembles games like the one of Puppet Combo or Chiller's Arts. I mean, why not? They look hella dope. Old glitchy graphics, vertices and polygons appear, disappear and move all over the object and the dark and gritty look. I love it. In fact, I encourage you to try those games for yourself. But back to today's asset. We're going to talk about the PSX shader for Unity 3D. As the name suggests, it's a shader for Unity that comes with a particular camera component. And it is straightforward to use. You create your scene, click on the camera, add the PSX effect on it and bada bin bada boom, you're done. But that's not all. If you use your own asset or some other 3D models from the asset store, you can also apply these shaders to those. Just open up the material on Unity, click on the shader drop down menu, select the PSX shader and there you have it. The camera component comes with a bunch of adjustable things on it as well. But one thing I want to point out is the target frame rate. You can easily adjust the frame rate there. But you can also include frame skips. This means that after a fixed amount of frames, one frame is getting skipped so the game appears more laggier, thus elder or creepy. You can also adjust the mesh settings, like how far should the camera render, if the mesh modification should be based on the camera position or world position, how inaccurate the displacement should be and what the shadow should look like. But don't forget about post-processing. This is where you can adjust the creepy feeling. Color depth gives you the option of how distinguishable a color should be, subtract fade how the world fades out and there is the darken slash favor red. The last option in particular makes your game look creepy AF if you don't overdo it. Speaking of overdoing it, I recently moved countries, so I didn't have time to record or test assets. At the moment I'm in a little shack somewhere in Ireland until I can move into my new apartment. So please, if you enjoy these videos, give this video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel as I try to go to a regular upload schedule as soon as I'm settled in. Back to the video. You can also access all the options in your code, so if you want to trigger the frame rate, for example in a special event, there is no big issue. Also the price for this little piece of art is around 70 euros, which in my opinion is pretty reasonable. Or do you want to write shaders on your own? I don't. I don't fear a lot, but shader programming scares the living with cheeses out of me. As for the documentation, it is pretty self-explanatory. Put it on the camera and adjust the settings to your liking, and you're set. Also the little side note here, this shader will not work with the HDRP or the URP as for now. So you're stuck with the standard pipeline. But to be honest, that's not a big deal if you're in the game, pun intended, in creating a PS1 or PS2 styled title. If you're not willing to pay the 17 euros, there's also a free alternative called PSX Shader Kit. It does almost the same, but it is missing some settings here and there. I'm curious about what game you want to produce with this asset, so let me know in the comments. And maybe you're interested in using it with another asset, like the procedural crit generation asset. If you haven't heard of this asset, click this video or the video here that YouTube suggests. Until next time, bye!